Thanks. Not that we can see any of that. Alright, well, let's go up and, uh, go to Ulta. And say, hey, Mr. Ulta. Will you take me to the bull's head? That sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Take me to the bull's head. Mr. Ulta, take me to your bull's head. Oh, yeah. You're right up the stairs. Come on, George, hurry up. Hey, Ulta. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. What does Il Ako Kao mean? Yeah. Who teach you that? Nejo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah. yeah. How did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. Ah. I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dogs. Ultar mean meat of dog. Ah. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing? Well, yes. maybe. A terrific bargain. Only Ooh. 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Yes. Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price mula is correct. <laughs> Mister, we make with haste. Yeah. What exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. That's it. Yes. Ah. Okay. I'll be along in a minute. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Ha ha. It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. Oh yeah, he, he, they're gonna love that. Alright. Hey, dude. Hello again, Ultar. His most splendid and adventurous client. Yeah? That's your taxi? Yeah. Oh, yes, most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marine. It Marine? looks like an old army truck to me. Well, it is. Bah! You Americans with your checkerboard caps and your jet hashes. You have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four okay. tons by the look of it. <laughs> there, you have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay, already, let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed what? fair. There oh, is no, a minor the problem belt. of our tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you gonna do? Yeah. What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. Uh, How long is that gonna gosh. take? One day, maybe six. Ah! I can't wait that long, we gotta get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. Well, I do I do have this. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes. Yay. Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With Ooh. his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Ooh. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes. Very serviceable indeed. Yay. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come yes. along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yay. Onward on to adventure. Ah, oh, wonderful. Three days. Just what this game needed. It's kind of odd because it's like 3D inside the 2D environment. Yeah, which I suppose isn't really very odd, really. Just seems kind of lazy. Alright. Okay. Later that afternoon. Wait. 
What have I been doing? The oh, I was climbing the mountain. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine. How many days have passed? All right, now that we're up here, um, we need to pick up the twig. Well, it's not really a twig, is it? I mean, it's pretty damn huge. It's a sapling, really. A sapling that's taller than George. Take that. And, um... Yes. I think we tie these together. Yay! With a flourish, I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot. Wonderful. Okay. Then, you use that. This, I think? No. Ah, with that. Here we go. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. I, I don't know if we can we can trust this. Wow, that really is a long piece of telling well, I had. Well, that looked really safe. But I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. You never anticipate anything though, George. Oh. Why, that was helpful. Um, now that we're up here... There should be a... Well, there is this funny rock face, which looks like it's movable. Hmm, there's a funny hole here. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. Oh, George, do it. But there was something in there. A metal ring. As wide as my hand. Take it. Oh, for goodness sakes. Go again, George. I took a firm hold of the ring. Pull! And pulled. Whoa, there. Nelly. Alright, let's save. It's always a good idea to save at some point. Alright, let's go in the hole. <laughs> let's go down the hole. Okay, that sounds very creepy and wrong. Okay. Now that we're inside the hole... Ooh. Around the corner, I found the corpse. Oh, hi, Klausner. I think. Oh my God, Klausner, large as life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had huh. time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Uh oh. No. Oh man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. Um, I had a bad feeling about how Klausner had died. Yeah. This isn't going to be good, is it? All right. Let's look at this. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. Okay. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. Oh, it was charming. a strange image, but a powerful one, mm. redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. Ooh. Sure was an ugly one, though. Yeah. That's a given. Without getting too close, no, get close, I couldn't see any marks of violence, okay, so apart from his fingertips being scraped raw, uh, and that seemed self-inflicted. Klausner yeah. had been pretty smart to get this far, but he was still dead. That he was. Okay. All right. Oh, just take it already. Just take hey, things. Hey, what's this? What isn't this? I'd found some kind of lens. A very ah. old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. Huzzah! I'd searched Klausner once, and no portable phone, no demolition charges, no five-course meal. Well, they would have You'd eaten think that. international conspirators would go around better equipped. Hmm. Ooh. Wow, that's rather phallic looking. Let's have a look at it. I couldn't take the inscription with me, Ooh. and I didn't have a notebook or a camera to record it. Well, you're All a fool. I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. Well, what does it say? In occidenta sita est, in ora mundi. mundi. Okay. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? That would have to do. The mouth's opening. 
It must be Ultar. Uh-oh. My God. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Um. Ultar! Don't come in! It's a trap! Uh. Stay where you are! You! Mr. Khan? Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Khan! Do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Aww. Did you say maim? Yeah. I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell. Okay. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall. Most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest uh. assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. Well, that's, well, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really yeah. assured. <laughs> it is rather dark in here. Oh, good. I think we should conduct our business outside. Oh, good. Why should I make myself an easier target? Because you if won't I have to stand near the, the corpse that's pooped itself, I shall no doubt. you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. Mm -hmm. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. Boy, <laughs> it sure is hot in here. Yeah, it no is. sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Mr. Stobart. <sighs> now then, where shall we start? How about mm. being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Yeah, let's make Klausner, out. Klausner, do you know where he is? He... Oh, we'll tell the truth. Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration, mm -hmm. by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about? Yep. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Yeah. Yeah. He was carrying some sort of lens. I've got it with me. Give it to me. Uh. I don't think so. Don't be a fool, Mr. Stobart. If I give it to you, what's to stop you killing me? Yeah. What is to stop me killing you anyway? You might hit the lens. Yeah. Not if I shoot you in the head. Ah. When I fall, the lens might get broken. Yes. Yes. You plead convincingly, Mr. Stobart. Perhaps you will live to see another day. Yeah. Perhaps. <gasps> was there anything else? Yeah. Well, there was something in Latin up on the wall. What did it say? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. It does? Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? Hmm. It tells me where the sword of Baphomet lies. Ah. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Aww. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. Oh, why not? There is far more at stake than you realize. There is? I cannot risk you inadvertently helping my enemies. But... So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Oh, what well. exactly do you mean? I am a professional. You will feel no pain. Oh, man. Oh. You're going to kill me? Yes. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. <laughs> I love that there is actually an icon that looks like George is a dog. That's beautiful. I want to save. Uh, we will not be seeing him die like a dog, unfortunately. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Ah. Yeah. Well, what the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. Uh, well, I'm going to shake your hand, all right. <laughs> ha ha! Punch! See ya! Go! Go! Luckily, the 
canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. Rather than bounce me off. The worst part off. of the experience was Ultar's driving. <laughs> what about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Mm. Really? Well, I have to say... Oh, God, I'd George. I'd enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much else. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. Jade, I could kill you. Uh, let's have a look at the manuscript. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Why not? While we're here. Alright, Nico. What have we got, Nico? That's the face of the statue I saw at the bull's head. Hmm. That's the tripod we borrowed from the museum. Okay. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marne. Okay. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. Ah, charming. The night scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. And charming. that's not a crystal ball. It's the lens I found in Marib. Marib. That's the clue that led me to Spain. Okay. That's the clue that led me to the bull's head in Syria. Okay. Fun. Um. What do you think of plaster Paris? Look, Nico, a handful of plaster. Yeah, you showed me. Oh, good. Shake my hand. The guy at the novelty shop. What is it? A hand buzzer. You put it in your hand and give people electric shocks. Why? It's a gag. A practical joke. <laughs> yeah. If you ever use it on me, I'll break your arm. Yeah. Okay, okay. I get the picture. This is the chalice I discovered in Spain. Yeah. I still can't figure out why the Countess gave it to you. Um. After losing it for all those years, she simply gave it away to a total stranger. She's one prawn shot of a paella. Aww. The Countess is a fine lady. You shouldn't compare her with seafood. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something going on between you and that girl. Ew. Are you serious? Ew. She's old enough to be my grandmother. Ew. Did I show you this tissue? Yeah. Yes, George. I asked you to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. Oh, yeah. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Oh. That was a bit more breathier than I was expecting. Okay. Oh, Josh. Josh, Josh, Josh. Alright. I think we're gonna call that an episode here. This is an episode here. Yes. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time for more Broken Sword. Bye-bye.